Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn. Great to see you, Senator. Uh, you this, too. I'm so glad you're on. This juror did say, quote, we followed a very rigorous process. What is your take on all of this? Listen, the American people, and I will tell you, especially Tennesseans, are really frustrated. They see a two-tier system of justice, and they know that Donald Trump has not been treated fairly, just like so many of them have not been treated fairly by federal agencies. And I will tell you this, they have grown ill and fatigued with this process. They think that it should be equal treatment, equal access, equal justice, and they understand Donald Trump's frustration, and they want to see people held to account. Okay, so here's the thing. It's an important point that you're making, Senator. We're seeing media such as the Washington Post. It's not just the Wall yeah. Street Journal. We're seeing the Hill magazine reporting that, yes, William Barr is doing his job trying to hold D.C. accountable. We're seeing Washington Post op-ed saying, you know, since when is, is it, should, be, should it be left up to prosecutors? What a dangerous notion that is. Why is there no oversight of prosecutors, and, and why do they have discretion to suggest punishments for defendants whom they have prosecuted? That wouldn't be acceptable anywhere else. Your reaction to that? One of the things we know is that Bill Barr is doing a great job, and I hope he stays and continues to do a great job. And you're pointing out different uh, disparities and inequities, and I agree with all of that. And what people say is, look, let's clean up the DOJ. Let's clean up these U.S. attorneys' offices. Let's get people who are bringing political bias and personal opinion out of the way and make certain that we return to being a nation of laws that abides by the rule of law with equal treatment and equal justice. And I know Bill Barr has to feel like he goes in there every day and plays whack-a-mole with problems that are cropping up and tries to find a way to deal with this. And it's going to take a little bit of time. It is not something that is going to be done. But here's the good thing, is that people are saying, we know that this exists. And whether it is Lisa Page, or whether it is Jim Comey, or Andrew McCabe, or whether it is Bruce and Nellie Orr, what they see is people that get special treatment and then people that are harshly treated. Well, where, how do you think this ends up? Because we know that uh, Attorney General Barr testified last April that, yeah, he was going to look into this, and then a month later he appointed, uh, you know, John Durham, the criminal uh, federal right. prosecutor, to look into it. You know, Dan Henniger at the Wall Street Journal is saying this is when people in Washington, D.C. went berserk. They went into DEF CON 1, uh, they went into meltdown over this. He's just cleaning, cleaning up what's going on down there, right? Right. Bear in mind, the swamp is murky. It is full of alligators, and you start disrupting, and what are they going to do? They are going to bite, and that is what they have been doing. They cannot believe that Donald Trump has come into town, that the deplorables have arrived in Washington, D.C., and they're saying, we are a government of, by, and for the people. And what people want to see is the people in charge, not the government in charge, taking away freedoms. I, you know, final point. I know we got to go. I just like this point from Mark Penn. He said five of the last six special counsels, uh, presidents, both Democrat and Republican, pardoned numerous figures. You saw it with George H.W., Cass right. Weinberger, Bill Clinton, most of his Whitewater figures and friends, Barack Obama pardoning General James Cartwright. We got to go, Senator. I'm yeah. so sorry you ran out of time. Will you come back soon, be on the show? Absolutely. Love good, to. Thank good you. Good to see you, Senator. Great yes. to see you.